What is up, guys? This is Dad's Commentary coming at you with my take on the new release update of Call of Duty Modern Warfare coming out October 25th. So with that, I was going to jump in and play a little bit of Modern Warfare here and just give you kind of my take on my thoughts of it. So if you guys like this kind of content, drop a like and a sub. I would appreciate it. So I'm not really sure how to take this news, guys. I started playing Call of Duty on Modern Warfare 3, and it was one of them games that I just got excited to play. I would be thinking about it all the time. Actually, I started on Black Ops 1, but I really got into it on Modern Warfare 3. But I would be so excited to play the game that I would be talking to my friends offline. We'd be messaging each other. We'd be talking about the game. And it was a good game, right? So then they start coming out with these new games. And you don't know how to take the game because you get it. It's got the Call of Duty name on it, but it's not Call of Duty anymore. You're, like, now flying in the air. You're jumping around like a madman. And I'm not saying that game's not bad. I'm not saying that's a bad way to do a game. But if you're going to put your name on the game, make the game the same. Make it the same, but change it a little, a little bit. That's how, like, Fortnite has everything cornered right now because they're taking their game and they're keeping some of their content, but they're changing it. So you're transitioning out. So when you transition out, that makes things a little bit better and you're able to do it. But people don't like change in general. It's hard for people to deal with change. So when you put your name on a game and you buy it and you think it's Call of Duty and then you get the game and it's not even the same gameplay, the gameplay is completely different. It feels like you're playing a different. It feels like you were just robbed. It feels like you bought the game Donkey Kong and you got Pac-Man inside of it. That's how bad they do with it. If they're gonna be, if they're gonna do a game, they need to be more true to what the game actually is. Don't say like, "Hey, this is Call of Duty," and then you play it and you're flying around in the air and you're in a spaceship or you're you're in the future. That is not what Call of Duty is. Call of Duty is a game that I started playing on Black Ops One. That's for me. That's a, that's the game or this game right here, Modern Warfare, with your boots on the ground. I mean, if you want to do things, add to the game. Don't take away. And then you can slowly take out, but when you come out with a completely different game, and the problem is you came out with the same game for so many years, but it would be different. So it was like you were doing different seasons, different tiers, different passes. It was better. But when you changed the game completely, I got a guy over here, I think. Maybe, uh, come on. Anyway, when you change the game completely, it makes people feel ripped off and taken advantage of. Especially when you keep the game the same price. Yes, you're bringing maps out, and you got zombies, but it's different. Like, zombies, I used to go grab a jug and I'd drink it on every game. And this new one you come out, I got to... It's just completely different. I can't... It, it's already there. There's not even jug. Or the game before, you put your hand in something. And I like... Don't get me wrong. I don't mind change a little bit. But when you do so much change, it's too drastic where I can't, I go to play the game, and I'm like, this isn't, this isn't for me. It's you just change it too much. And I don't think you're listening to your fans at Call of Duty. I don't think they are. But if they listened to their fans and they took this serious, they would realize, hey, we got to we gotta put a little bit more into our community. Like, Fortnite is a super streamer-friendly game. They need to be focusing on streamer-friendly games because ever since uh, Black Ops Zombies, Streaming has been hard unless you're playing Fortnite or you've already established yourself from from Call of Duty Zombies or something like that. So they've made it so difficult because the game has changed so completely much. But anyway, guys, I just wanted to give you my vent on it. Just let you know I'm worried about um, I'm worried about the update that's going to be coming out of the new game. I hope that they listen and they make it free. I'm pretty sure there won't be a zombies in it because I don't think there was a very good zombies in Modern Warfare. I just wanted to kind of talk to you guys a little bit. Let me know in your comments what you think about the Call of Duty community, what you want to see from the game, what you're thinking, because I do want to stream Call of Duty. I don't want to stream Fortnite all the time, but the game is just not the game for me to stream, and I want to. So if I play Call of Duty, I got to do it offline. I want to be able to have fun. I want to be able to enjoy the game I'm playing. I want to be able to stream it. And I want to be able to meet people and play and, and, you know, have the fun I used to have. And I feel like I'm not ever going to have that again with Call of Duty. And I'm not trying to trash the company because they have had a good run. I just think that they've lost touch with their fan base. They haven't given uh, the loyals. the. I mean, I, I understand they want to bring new people in. I would too. Why wouldn't you? But you can do both. You can bring loyals in by 
keeping the same content but adding new content at the same time. It just kind of transition out. But every game is like a new game with your title on it, so you're losing your older people like me. I mean, I'm 40 years old, so I've definitely been playing video games for a while. And I'm trying to give you legit, honest, uh, my honest feedback on this game. So again, if you guys feel the same way, drop me a comment. Let me know what you think about the news on the Call of Duty coming out on the 25th. And uh, if you guys do want to play with me, I'm sure I'll get the game. I don't know why. I always buy the whole pass. I think I've spent hundreds and hundreds of dollars on um, Black Ops 4 never even played all the maps you know it's just one of them things that you get it and it's just like ah, I don't feel like playing that game's just not gonna do me any good there's just nothing there for me on that game you know it's just part of it that happens but anyway again guys I hope you guys enjoy this comment if you made it till the end drop a like drop a sub I'm hoping I can get back into the Call of Duty community with streaming I hope they make it streamer friendly I hope they make the game free and they make it to where you buy skins. I mean, that seems to be the market that everybody's going with the new technology. You know they definitely can afford it because they've made a lot of money in the past. Fortnite is dominating in making money and their game's free. And it's all off skins and stuff like that. You put passes, Easter eggs. People love that stuff. That's what people want to do. They want to play a game, but they want an adventure at the same time. So if you can deliver that to your fan base, you're going to be doing good. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you listened to my rant. Um, I'm just, uh, I, I, I'm kind of leery about this 1025 release on Call of Duty. I normally take the day off of work. I don't even know if I'm going to do that this year. So hopefully Call of Duty will come through to us. But this is my feedback on the new Call of Duty coming out. That I hope they list, they, I hope that they go back. If they're going to put the name on it, they make it a true Call of Duty game. All right, guys, let me know in the comments what you think. And if you don't like the video, let me know why. Don't just put a dislike or I think it's a troll just disliking. All right, guys, have a good day. Dad's commentary out.